Welcome to Tear Clown's Shadow. And this is the cast of characters of the Terror Clowns series featuring my celebrities and, well, pretty much it, my celebrities and uh, the other characters, the other supporting characters that are in the book because I haven't got to them yet, so I'm going to give you a list of them right now. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head outside. We're gonna I'm gonna take off. We're gonna go. I gotta go down and get something. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I walk down the street and talk about the uh, cast of characters. Let me turn off the radio first. Turn out the light. Ah, spooky! Spooky! Okay, not that spooky. All right, I'm gonna head outside here. Make sure I got everything. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got everything. All right, I think I got everything. Yeah, wallet check, keys check, extra batteries to check. Uh, oh, I got something in my other pocket here. I gotta leave that in here. I don't want to lose it. Oh, that's my. I got that. Okay. Yep, I got everything. Check. All right. Here we go. We're gonna talk about uh, first Jake Masters and his family. Uh, first, Jake Masters. Obviously, if you watch my other videos, you know who Jake Masters is. Let me give you a quick rundown. He's the uh, protagonist of the story and the one that actually uh, accidentally brought out the evil clowns that came out and um, overrun uh, Williamsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, like I said, the last 15 years, he was uh, getting tired and didn't want to do his thing anymore, so he decided he wanted to quit. And that's where we catch up to him in the first book. Whoa. What's going on? Coppers, two of them. Woo, baby. Something going down. Always something going down around here. All right. And then we got Autumn Masters, and that's his wife. Um, for 15 years, she's been putting up with uh, all his bullshit and all his uh, being away on the road. I'm going to go down this way. And uh, just, but she was there. She supported him. She knew this someday it had to end. And in 15 years, she was very freaking happy that, you know, finally it's coming to an end. But... And unfortunately for her, she didn't know what was waiting them afterwards. Then we got his brother and sister, Cliff Masters and Shelly Masters. Uh, Cliff Masters is actually being played by Vernon Johnson, or Nicholas Vernon, I think he wants to go by, um, from One Tree Hill and the show Surface. Um, and Shelly Masters, I don't have a celebrity for her, so she's just a standalone character. Um, they also were putting up with the whole deal, especially the, uh, ouch, especially the, um, the fallout between Jake and his, uh, father. They're always fighting and all that shit, and they have to put up with it. If they see him fighting, they just kind of walk away because they can't control it anymore. Right, that's his uh, family. I'm gonna go to his friends now. Uh, Clark Steller. Clark Steller is his agent. He looks a little bit younger. He has the mind of a very old uh, man, but he he's the one that put together Jake Masters in a great show. 
and made it a very big success along with the book that Jake found. It became this like top-notch performer, almost like a David Copperfield, but like 10 times bigger. Um, so, but what the only thing that Jake doesn't know is um, that there's a dark secret Clark is hiding, but he'll find that out later. Then you got Carla Niles, which she isn't really in the book that much, but she's kind of essential to the first four parts of the storyline. Um, Carla is her his uh, best friend from high school, and they were really good friends. And she comes into play, sort of. You have to read the book to find out exactly how she does it. But she's in there, so I put her down as one of those um, characters. I may somehow bring her back for other books because I only wrote her into four book. Wrote her inside the four stories of the first arc. All right. Then we got Scotty Brownbags Nelson. Now, Scotty Bra Brownbags Nelson um, is actually a real person. Um, he's a guy I used to work with over at McDonald's when I worked at McDonald's, and uh, he used to care. He used to have a knife he called Betsy. <laughs> Um, but he was in a band, he had a face, he showed me a picture, he had a face uh, makeup, and he, has, he used to have long dreads too, um, so I brought them back, and I told him, hey, I'm going to put you in a book, you sound like you could be perfect for this character that I need, so, so his name is Brown Bags in the story, Scotty Nelson, so that's a real person, uh, so if you're watching this, bro, hey, what's up, I haven't seen you in a while, so he left for another state. I don't know where he went. But I haven't seen him in a while. Alright, moving on. Um, we got the Juggler. The Juggler is one of his performers. Um, and he, uh, he could juggle pretty much about anything and everything. But there's something that happens to him too, but you have to read um, we read the series again. You gotta read the series to find out exactly what happens to him. And pretty much, you can guess, but you'll see. But yeah, he could. He's a pretty good uh, juggler. He just juggles about everything. He wears a Shakespearean style costume um, all the time, so that's his thing. Then you got Krog and Sprog. They're uh, a dual team. One is this big hefty guy. Um. He's about uh, six feet tall, maybe seven. Big old shoulders, but he's slow and he talks differently. Um, he talks out of order. And not like Yoda out of order, but he talks out of order. He kind of switches his words around. You can still figure it out. And then Krog's sort of like the, the brains. He's a little person. and Not Krog, I mean Sprog. He's a little person. And... Uh, He's actually played by Nick Sin, the rock and roll performer that I told you about before. Um, he's in his gothic gear and he's like a, a badass little person who just kicks some clown ass when uh, the attack happens. You'll see. Loud. That is weather, man. Alright, and then, who do we got left? Oh, and then we got Trip Aces and Adrian Song. Both played by celebrities. Trip Aces obviously is Ryan Vollmer from uh, Helix, the, the multi-platinum gold record selling group um, from the 80s and now. They're still out there selling and they sell out every place they go. Well, um, their latest is Vagabond Bones, so planethelix.com you can check, check his stuff out uh, and then Adrian Sarg is played by Peyton Turner from VH1's Rock of Love 2 she's in there and she has um, pardon me she plays the mother of 
Nikki song. And that's her daughter. And when we first meet her, she's mute. She's like uh, totally mute. Nobody could know. There's a reason why she's mute. I don't want to get into details yet. But you'll find out when you read book three. And then you got. Oh, and here we go. We got Bird. Bird is an orphan boy named. Uh, he's 13 years old. And his kids. I mean, his kids. His parents were killed by the evil clowns. Nikki and Adrian found him. And um, took him in. He's dead set at helping rid the clowns off the face of the earth, too. Now, the kids, all the kids have some kind of significance to the story. All my kids um, have some kind of significance to the story, which is really cool. Um, but detail wise, you have to read the series to find out which one's which. But you'll like Bird, Bird's pretty cool. All right, and then you got Black Tide. He's the um yeah, he's the leader of the uh, underground um, survivors. He like pots, uh, pots up, like different spots of survivors around the town. Um, they can they communicate with ham radios and whatnot, stuff like that. And then the last two are Devlin and Tony. They're two cops that actually uh, survived this menace and um, are helping out too because they also have information. Somebody's got to have the information. So that's about it, I think. Yeah, so I, I mean, I have more characters, like uh, the band, rock band Lindsay is in it, and, um, whew, I'm going to stop for a second, getting a little tired. Yeah, the rock band Lindsay is in it, and other characters are in it too, but they're only in it for a little bit, so, you'll see as you read this series, and plus I'm hoping I can get more celebrities to be in this, it'd be awesome. Um... I'm just gonna end this vlog, which I'm apparently talking for a million years now. If you're still watching this, thanks. Um, I'm over by the cinema center. We were waiting to get in line. It's freaking cool. Nah, yeah, no movie today. I don't have the money for it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I think that's it. And uh, please subscribe. If you have any comments, any questions, put your comments down below. Let me know. And uh, I think that's it. Till next time, guys. Take care.